YouTube, welcome back to WTFRC Cars. So, today we're going to try and fix a common problem where the uh, pull start gets stuck and doesn't engage. Like that. <laughs> Which is not much use for trying to start an engine. So, first thing we need to do, remove the dust cover. Then, you've got four screws, two at top, two at bottom. Right, so... There's plenty of ways you can do this. You can remove engine, uh, you can remove the dirt guard from there. Easiest way I found to get into them is a socket with a screwdriver tip in it, one of the universal joints and a little extension. And then you can just ratchet away and you can get them out. Once they're loose they will screw out pretty much by hand. So we'll crack on with that and uh, get back to you again in a second. Right, so, moving around to this side, the easiest way I've found of getting this one out is to put the, basically you want your bit in the Allen key head. Um, it's a bit fiddly to get an Allen key in here, because it hits everything, but basically if you put that in, get a pair of pliers on it, grab it and turn it a few times, once you've got a few twists on it, it'll back out by hand, so it'll just be finger tight. So, let's get that one out. Right, so, leave this one till last because it's the easiest to get to. And then, once you get it so far out, you then don't need the uh, screwdriver tip. Or the screwdriver handle, should I say. And you can just back it out using the screwdriver bit itself. Now watch they don't fly away because these have spring washers on them and sometimes them washers are captivated and sometimes they come off but you don't want to lose them so once that's off you can then remove this and inspect that part now as long as there's no damage on any of these which they all look fine we can move on to checking these and it's usually them that get stuck because this gets filled with uh, aluminium dust and all sorts but they're quite stiff and uh, basically they get stuck out and then when you pull the pull start they're not stuck in they're not flicking in to engage into those they need to catch on them they're also the bits that break off if you're a bit ham-fisted and a bit crazy with the pull start so what we need to do is clean all this up basically get all that out of there and get that done and i'll get back to you right so if i can get a good shot of this basically what you're looking for is to get this really nice and clean so these don't stick because basically what happens is they fill with dirt and they they will flick back nice and easy but you'll get loads of dust and debris and then they'll stick open in that position and then when you pull the pull start it just spins around in here and it's never going to engage it's never going to grip on these so it's never going to turn the engine over but once you get all the dust and debris out you can see they'll move quite freely and all you need to do then is make sure that your pull start mechanism is pulling and returning so now it's just a case of refitting it and let's see if you can see so basically when you put it back on you've just got to make sure you're not pushing onto those you've got to try and wiggle the starter in between them but uh, I should only need to get one of these back in position or maybe the top two just to be able to give it a try and this is definitely a lot harder with one hand uh, come on see if I can get that one started so if you wind it in so far and you can just wiggle it like that and line it up. Let's get another screw. That 
I should be able to just nip that one up now. Let's try and get that other one in. The one advantage is working on these fifth scales, they're that big, <laughs> you don't have a problem getting your hand into most places. Now you don't want to tighten all these up fully until you've got all four in. So you, you know that you're not, uh, so that you're tightening it up and it's all fitted on straight. But just to try it, you can nip these up. And then we should have a pull stop. And at this point it became very apparent this hmm. wasn't going to work. We've got something else that's broken. So, another common cause of failure of these uh, easy pull starts. Basically, this has to be held in place with that is the end of the spring. And if you, if you remove that, so that spring holds this in position and returns it. It also makes it pull round when you pull the pull starter. Now, the problem is, this has a screw in the middle, basically like that. That holds that in place and stops it from pulling away and stops that spring from falling out. But, what seems to happen is this bit, let's see if I can get it is meant to be fixed to the outer casing down there and it breaks away and then when this breaks away even though the top part screwed in it comes forward that's why you get all this uh, aluminium looking dust because this is then falling forward when the engines running into here and it rubs on the uh, on the inside so that falls forward into there and catches on here and then when you pull it it can't drive because the spring that locates into the top of it there drops foot drops back and then your little drive gear rather than being able to engage and push the motor around push the engine around like that it's just spinning so let's see what we can do about this now you could just replace the black plastic part of the pull start but I'm gonna see if we can drill down all the way through there then take the brass insert out of that bit put a longer one of those all the way through to the back of this put a big washer on it and a lock nut and then we should be able to set the gap so it can't fall forward. But because it's held all the way through back of that with a big washer and a lock nut, it should be a lot stronger. Might last uh, last a bit longer. Right, I'll go and try and find some parts and see if we can fix that. Right, so we have this hole drilled all the way through. We have a pull start mechanism that needs to go in there. Then we need a bolt long enough to go through the top and we need a hole all the way through this bit so we can put a nut and bolt on the back to hold it. So let's see how we go on with that. Right that's the hole drilled through it so we got a hole through there, a hole through there and then that should still sit on top of there and it'll position itself right in the middle of that so it should keep it all where it needs to be now we need a nut and bolt to hold it in place right so basically what we're aiming for is the bolt all the way back through the hole the spring where it should be and then on the back I've gone for a bigger washer I ain't got a locking nut so I've had to put a nut on and then tighten one down to it um, and then I've just 
cut the top off to keep it in place but basically what we should have now is a working pull start where this can't move forward so it can't fall off that spring so let's get it back in car and see if it works right so we've just got the screws back in you can see the two nuts locked off against each other so it can't come loose the mechanism is all lined back up and see if I can get a video of this without the dust cover falling back on and as you can see we now have a pull starter that engages every time so nice easy fix if you've got a uh, literally you need a drill bit a, a nut well a couple of nuts and one bolt um, a washer and a locking washer and that is the entirety of the parts I've used to fix the uh, pull start but this will ultimately be way stronger than it was ever designed in the first place because this can't snap off so let's see how long this one lasts if you like this video like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the notification bell to uh, see when we upload another of these uh, pearls of wisdom <laughs> if you've enjoyed it if you've got any comments leave below and thanks again for watching WTFRC cars <laughs>